Hey folks, welcome to week 11 of DMD 330 social media. How is everybody? I hope you are doing well and taking good care of yourselves. All right, so as we dive into week 11, we are going to be putting the finishing touches and finalizing all of our online visual media. So let's go over what that is all about. So let's take a look at the syllabus. Week 11, normally we would have met April 6th, 8th, and 10th. Hopefully everybody got through April Fool's Day okay without any tricks being played on you. Uh, so here in week 11, we are doing our online content review. So, so far for the project, you guys have done and submitted drafts for Facebook, right? You've you've submitted a temporary cover photo and image uh, an event image with copy three series of shared images with copy and a shared link to your charity's website so you've got three four five six deliverables for facebook all in draft format you have turned those in you've gotten feedback on them you have turned in three instagram stories with copy uh, you have turned in five tweets uh, for Twitter, uh, a series of tweets with in-stream images. So all of this content uh, is being posted, of course, on these three social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And then lastly, last week, you guys designed and created drafts of three online display ads. Uh, we talked about online display ads last week and how those are sold and created. And so you did one of each, a large rectangle, a half page ad, and a large mobile banner. So all together, all of these uh, make up your visual content for your social media campaign that will be uh, published onto the web. So we have these all in draft format. So what are we doing this week? Well, like I said, you have turned all of these in. You've gotten feedback from me on all of these. So now you're going to take all the feedback that I gave you and you're going to finalize all of them. So all of those deliverables, uh, deliverables 6 through 22, uh, your final online content are going to be turned in on this Friday April 10th. So go back through all the feedback that I gave you, uh, improve them, adjust them, make them better, uh, and then you're going to turn them in. Now, in terms of making sure that they work better, one of the overall things you should be looking for is that they work together as a set so that when people are seeing them or coming across them on the various platforms, that they uh, look as though they're part of the same marketing campaign. So all of your visual choices should be consistent in terms of use of color, your logo usage, your use of typography, the way things are written, uh, how the content is written, what it says. Make sure that everything is drawing a very clear connection between your company of choice and its participation in your charity of choice so that the messaging is uh, consistent and clear and that Lastly, make sure you are driving people from place to place, right? Your Twitter content should be driving people to your Facebook site. Your Facebook content could be driving people to your Instagram site and so on and so forth. Your online display ads should be driving people to any of your social media content. So make sure that all of that makes sense and that you have a good plan in place. Visually, you want things to look consistent. So here's an example of some content from an online marketing campaign that I worked on a while ago. Uh, this here, the Farm Fitness Challenge. Notice how all of these, this is the logo. This was a uh, online entry form that we put together. This was a digital poster design. Uh, and this was a email, uh, one of many emails that we put out an HTML email. Notice how they are visually consistent, and while they don't all look exactly the same, they share a lot of the same elements in terms of use of logo, color palette, the way the type is handled. Notice the way things are written. Uh, you can find these in the examples folder under files if you just want to get a closer look at them. Uh, and again, notice that they each have different components and are definitely different objects, uh, but uh, make a lot of similar choices so that they look like they're part of the same project. So be sure that yours are doing that as well, that they all look good together, they make sense together, and that they're driving customers where they need to go. All right. So that is due on Friday. If you have any specific questions or would like some additional feedback, certainly let me know and I'm happy to do that. All right. Beyond that, there is a little bit of sort of what we'll call textbook reading. There is a uh, 
a week 11 announcement uh, that links to this video from face scanning to targeted ads minority reports future isn't science fiction anymore uh, minority report was a science fiction movie from a few years back that's actually really good uh, this talks about how uh, new technology is actually uh, uh, playing and how ads are targeted towards specific people it's a really interesting video and a little spooky so check that out that is this week's textbook reading. Okay, beyond that, your homework, after you finish uh, finalizing your visual content for all of your online platforms, uh, over the weekend, uh, you at least want to start thinking about your radio advertisements. Next week, we're going to start working on the radio ads, uh, and we'll get deeper into those next weeks. So don't worry about them too much right now. Just maybe start thinking about them. There are some example radio ad scripts. Uh, in the week 12 folder, so you're welcome to check those out as well. All right, thank you so much, and I uh, hope you guys are having a good week. I will talk to you soon, and again, if you need anything, please do contact me.